It's been a very, very busy year for us. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Um, we started the year with uh, one, two, three new schools. Um, right. I then I did a big trip in the middle of the year. I often do a big trip so that I can go and visit all the schools in the English-speaking countries. And that's really the only way to do it. Um, so I visited Halifax, Nova Scotia, where we have a lovely school. They have actually they joined already, but part of what we do is to, is to go and meet the students and get a bit more feedback about the school. Yeah, and I travelled across, um, I took in, apart from several other places, I took in um, Victoria on Vancouver Island, and the, a nice school there has now joined. And I went on my way, um, visited schools in New Zealand, there's a new school in Auckland that's just joined. But the point being, I have to visit the schools. Um, yes. Australia, yes, since I last spoke to you, we have a school in Sydney now. Um, well, it splits roughly 50-50 between UK schools and non-UK schools. So we've got um, 18 year-round general English schools in the UK, two summer centres in the UK, and one rather lovely um, home tuition centre, um, which I'm very fond of in the UK. And then non-UK, um, that's the right, so we've got Ireland, three schools, Malta, um, Canada, we now have five schools, which is good. One in the States, two in Australia, and one in South Africa, I think that's all. So altogether, about 40. In fact, it's over 40 if you include our associate schools, which are schools in non-English speaking countries. Istanbul, for example, or um, we have two in Poland. No, we're not looking to grow enormously in the UK, except having said that, were we to find a good quality school that wanted to join QE, it would be the right thing for them to join because that would strengthen our brand. But we're not hunting around just to add on another 10 schools for the sake of it, far from right. it. Right. Um, but where, where I personally would like to see more schools would be in places like Canada, where there's quite a lot of potential. Certainly like to see more schools in the United States, but that's more difficult. Um, and so on. Yeah, non-UK schools should be where, where we're expanding, just mm -hmm. to balance the thing a bit. Well, I, I divide my time between all sorts of things, actually. I, I, I go to Alfie's and I come to Berlin, I go to Study World. So I go to, I have a stand in all these fairs, which I think is very important. And then um, a lot of my time is spent choosing where to go and then organising and running our own missions. And we've, th th this year, so since I last spoke, spoke to you, we've been to Taipei and Bangkok. That was one trip. We've been to Sao Paulo. And um, we're about, when I leave here, we're going to Paris. And the next week we're going to Madrid and Zurich and Rome. So we're doing a, a roadshow around Western Europe. And it's very popular. And it's, I've been getting worried about having too many schools, actually, and how we're going to manage that next year. Because we want to keep them small, um, manageable, personal. Mm -hmm. Obviously, one spends quite a lot of time thinking where to from here. You know, we're, we're happy. We're very happy with how the brand has, has, has become known and sort of embedded itself in this very competitive industry. Um, so one is concerned about what happens next and want to make sure everything goes on well. For our new website, which is under construction, um, my number one aim is that we deliver focused inquiries to the language schools.